。おはよう、みなさん。お元気ですか ?Hope you're all surviving this apocalypse that we're all enduring. So much fun. That's my best attempt at sarcasm. Anyway. Um, we're having a break apparently. <clears throat> Thanks, game. Thanks. We'll see how this goes. If it crashes again, that means you can't probably do it. The event, but oh well. Yeah, it says you can't see the event. Hopefully, I can still go to the shop. Anyway, um, you know, this is like the longer version. I didn't really play it much. I've been playing too much Animal Crossing, honestly. So, I'm not explaining. Where's the store? The shop. Event item. Train station, right? I wish I'd add something to the royal shop. I need to add new items. I thought they would have done it for their sixth anniversary. But... Anything yet? Um. Do, do, do. I don't know why it's doing that weird lagging thing. It's like lagging greatly. <sighs> okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, at least I did get to 46 so I could get the one thing. The, uh, background for profile from the, uh, 45 round thing. Um, this is our new gacha, Festa della Felicia, which seems to be an Easter gacha, because Easter is right around the corner, but it's probably cancelled. Technically, you know, I'm sure there's people that will still celebrate it. Um, like, the holiday now as in like the Easter, the holiday eggs and stuff. More of the, um... You know, the tradition of Jesus Christ sacrificing himself and resurrecting. Like, Good Friday is the day he died, and then Easter Sunday is when he resurrected. Hopefully, we can get a rare. I remember them when they released, like, a huge uh, Easter gotcha. Like, it was super cheap. Like, it was, like, half off for everything. Um, like, instead of being 200 for 10 spins, it was 100 for 10 spins. And they increased the rarity value, so it was, like, you had, like, a 7% chance of getting a rare. Oh, man. And there was, a, uh, And the eyes were animated, too. <laughs> Where did those days go? Cook up a play. <laughs> oh boy, those that, those were the days. Like you're now the thing is, the eyes like they weren't animated where they blinked. They had like these little egg animation things, like they, like you like they go twinkle, basically. They wouldn't like open and close like some eyes do. But, yeah, uh, I remember that. Um, anyway, I'm conflicted with life right now because I've been meaning to, um, do videos and stuff, but, uh, that was, uh, postponed because I got news and, um, I haven't been really, I have been unsure of how I feel about it. So in Washington State, what they do is that for the Ed CPA, they have it where you get uh, there's 15 rubrics, and there's 5 points for each rubric. Wait, that's it. 
I got 16 rubrics down. 15 points. There's 15 rubrics and then 5 points for each rubric. That means 75 points in total. However, in Washington State, there is the student voice portion, which is student voice is basically assessing what the students recognize about their learning. So that would be like if you've done like, um, oh, what did you do today? Like, what did you learn about? What would you do differently? What do you think you did well in? How could you improve? That type of stuff. But um, I was doing kindergarten, so it's like difficult to do that. They could probably, like, they did tell me the learning target, but like, setting goals for himself will be extremely difficult. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, TPA. Um, and the passing score for the student voice one is because it's 15 points. They do it where it's like six. They, I don't know. They did it where it was seven points is passing. So I got seven points exactly on the student voice portion of the SCPA. And um, yeah, but however, in Washington State, because the ATPA, you don't have to follow strictly because most states do it where it's only the ATPA, where it's the 75 point total. Student voice is optional. Washington State made a requirement, but the passing score was up to the universities or whatever establishment is grading them and uh, giving them um, certification. So, uh,. My university said for you to pass and graduate, it has to be eight points. And did it help that the same people who told me that, like, oh yeah, they, they sent me this email and they told me, like, oh yeah, you're gonna have to resubmit. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? They were the ones saying, yeah, you pass, you don't have to worry about anything. Just complete your student teaching and you're all set and going. You're, you're like, gonna be a, become a great teacher you're already set you can already just practically teach already okay then I pulled the rug under me underneath me again and it's just like so much fun so I have to edit my OTPA resubmit it <sighs> oh no I'm just frustrated. Like, like, I like this college or the university I'm going to because of the professors and um, what I've learned from them. But all, but the college. Like the first time I went there, they just like they keep telling me these things. They keep forgetting to tell me things. Or they like they get my hopes up and then they just like pull on the rug from underneath me. It's so frustrating. Like the first time I went there, what they did was that I had to pay application fee. However, they wouldn't accept credit cards. They needed cash. They didn't tell me this because they just said bring the payment with you. And I'm like, okay, I'll bring a credit card. So I had to go withdraw. However, the ATM machine was broken that day. In that building, so I had to walk across campus, the next closest one, which was practically all the way across the other side of campus, because I don't fucking know why. Because apparently, I'm guessing the other ones didn't have ATM machines in that building. Because, like, I guess only the two that have them were the ones that are where most people go to anyway. But anyway, so I go across there. I get the money, I withdraw it from my account, and I'm like, here's the money. And like, oh, we need exact. We can't give you change. And I'm like, fuck. So they said, yeah, I had to go back. Walk back and get exact change. <sighs> that was the first time that I went there. And we upgraded our hair. And that's frustrating. Like they, 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 they could have told me that. 
I thought, okay, maybe, like, they forgot their time, but, like, every time, like, something always happens, like, oh, yeah, well, you see, you need to take this class. But I'm like, you, only, you didn't tell me I need to take this class. Like, well, we, we didn't realize that, but the state said that we had to. And then, and then, like, oh, yeah, you also need to take this other course. But I'm like, I, but when I signed up for this, I was told that these courses would cover that whole class. Because basically, it was like, the, and I've complained about this already, elementary education uh, and mathematics. I took go, that course from my old college, my first one before transferring. And what that happened there was I got to do that where it's more intensive. And I took that because it actually pertained to my field of study. And it was still a high level math course. But they kept saying I had to take calculus. And I'm like, what the fuck? When I signed up for this course, for this university and transferred over, your your thing said that I didn't have to take, like, of course there's like certain pre-requirements I need to take. So that and if I didn't take them, I'd have to do that within the first year of attending. And that was um, philosophy and religious studies. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. But like for the ones with like these when like oh here's this course that you need to take here's some alternatives that would be considered accountable that you could can like contribute towards the grade and that that elementary and mathematics educate elementary education and mathematics course was considered a high level math course that would be a substitute for calculus in their own document so I'm just like you tell me this and I give you a grade. You're telling me I have to take this course. They keep saying I have to take this course. It was only until I kept fighting and like, no, I have the documentations. This is what you said when the moment I signed up to transfer to this thing, I should not be taking the stupid calculus course. And eventually I didn't have to take it, but it's like, <sighs> this is... but there's so many other times Are like you saying I didn't turn in anything in. When I did, they said I didn't submit anything. When I did, they kept saying, they kept telling people, my professors, that, oh yeah, we've been trying to message her to get this information from her. But like, they never sent me a goddamn fucking email. And I'm just like, oh, fuck. So frustrating. I'm sorry for venting. Anyway, Oreo, I was so jealous when you got this rare from the soccer rain. Gotcha. I need those eyes so bad. Let. I'm sorry, Oreo. I know luck can be a blessing and a curse. I know. Who knows? Maybe eventually you'll get them. Maybe they'll return in like some event, like how we were able to trade for eyes this time around. Uh, for the 6th anniversary, we've got those tickets. You do that. Trade those in. Get the guys that you want. And I didn't, and I thought that they said, um, for that trade-in for the 6th anniversary, I thought it was from Gotcha's release in this past year. Now, I'm not too sure exactly if that's true, because, uh, the, uh, the Oriental Hermit and the Fox Gotcha items were in that trade-in. So... That's one from, I don't know, four, five years ago. So, I mean, I know it's a popular remix, gotcha. But I don't know, because I haven't seen it yet this past year. Hmm. Uh, that's really weird. Yeah, who knows? Hopefully they'll come back, Oreo. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I wish you luck. But what, it seems like you do have soccer during items and it's very beautiful in your show so far. Um, Averil Mew. Hello, I really love your videos. Hearts and cutie face. I hope we can be friends. We can definitely be friends. Averil. I will need to go and look and add this. Uh, the friend list like, takes so long to load. It's just so frustrating. But yeah, I will definitely do it. Thank you for your comment. Really appreciate that. Is that a JoJo reference? And then Rita Zul, hi again, you're so pretty as always. Thank you, Rita Zul. And I think that's because a lot of people have been liking my show. So thank you so much. 
And then, uh, I, I would love to vent more. I think our next big video is going to be me venting about Pokemon Sword and Shield, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um... I did get a comment on my YouTube videos, and I don't know. I should probably have done this first, but... Uh, it's pertaining to the trade-in items. So, how you get the trend tickets? Um, they're asking, like, how do you turn those in? So, one, you can go, I think you, at least you can do it. Go to, um, the gotcha page and do it from there. I'll go double check after this, because there's something else you need to do. Um, special lottery. You go to the special lottery, check. Um, no, I think I need a, yeah. I have three in my gift box, but you just like hit apply. So I like, applied for four times in the first one. I applied for one. I would say for people that are like, that are, like casual, definitely just try to do the 666 two face item set course. I think there's like 30,000 active Pokemon play players. So that's like a one in five chance of at least getting this. Um, this one is going to be difficult. This one, I'm just doing it because I want to have my avatar as a physical item. And then I could gloat about it and then show all of you that I actually got it. But yeah. Um, but also, so the trade-in applying thing ends the April 20th, but getting the tickets ends April 16th. However, um, I think you can go to the gotcha page and it'll be there as an option. However, there's also the, no, nope, never mind. It was just the monster shop. Um, the first round thing, first term ends soon. So if you have the first term, like I have the slug right there. So I have like one, there's the one from the green man. Like, I'll go for this, the Sky Dragon and Princess. And yeah. Be sure to trade those in. And then, um... The thing is, the Roku event doesn't help that for the 50,000 I have for this one, B second turn. But... Yeah. Anyway, be sure to trade those in, because those will expire. The ones for the first term, the one with the pink monster, will end at the uh, March 31st, technically. But that's only if you like to live in Japan, China, maybe the UK. But like if you live in the United States, those will end uh, March 30th, um, the night March 30th, depending on where you live. But anyway, um, thank you all for watching. I apologize for the venting. Um, hopefully life can improve. I hope you're all staying nice, safe, and healthy during these stressful times. I wish you the best. I hope life can improve. Good luck in the event. Good luck in gotcha. And good luck in everything else. Poof. Poof.